Last week was a big week in the history of Vintage Grace. We asked you to be praying at Battleship Sunday. We had a meeting at the county and we got a vote of in favor of building our new building five to zero last week. So incredible news. That was one of the big hurdles. Keep praying. Um, keep praying for, for the next step, which is getting our building permit. But that was the big, big hurdle. We got building permit. And the other big step was paying off the debt that we inherited. When we joined forces and moved to 9th through and Lassen Lane, we inherited a loan of about $900,000. And we as elders felt like we didn't want to break ground on phase two until we actually paid off the gift that was, that was given to us. And so I made that announcement five or six weeks ago. I made the announcement a long time ago, but five or six weeks ago, I reminded you guys about that. Our, our loan balance is about 400. It was just under $400,000 five or six weeks ago. Last Sunday was our biggest giving ever as a church. And so thank you for your generosity. It's only by the grace of God that I get to report that today our balance is down to $190,000. It was a cut in half. And so we were thankful. We also recognize that um, we, we are standing as elders by that commitment, so we, we will make sure that gets paid off before we ever break ground. That loan is due in October. And so I had a buddy just say, hey, is it too late to give towards Multiply? And, and you can, and I said, no, it's never too late. Go ahead. Like, you can do that still. Designate that on your check. You can give online. Uh, be praying. Be praying because we do need that 190K to be gone. We as elders have looked at our, our accounts. We've looked at our reserve account. We could make a dent in that, but that would be stealing away from projects that are actually designed to accomplish next year with the build. So we'd like to not go towards reserves. And so I'm gonna ask you to keep praying. If you were one, one of the best parts last week was I, I get reports, giving reports, because we do pay attention to that. And as I get the giving reports, there's never names on it, but I can see how many giving units and numbers. And there were a lot of things I just wanted to share with you guys to celebrate the grace of God and the goodness of him, not just to us, but through us as a church. We had over 100 giving units last week. It was awesome. Our biggest number of giving units ever. Can I be really honest that the best gift that I saw given, again, I don't know as a senior pastor who gives or how much they give. It's a choice that I make that the elders affirm. I don't want to. I don't care. Jesus wants your heart, not your money. Don't tell me what you give and how much you give because then you're robbing your joy. The only command in the New Testament is give cheerfully. That's it. Give for his glory, not for any of ours. And so it was neat because I did actually see someone take their cash as they walked across the patio, these little kids with dollar bills, and they were bringing their cash to the multiply box. And they were like, this, this is the giving money. I've been saving this. And so just watching that, parents encourage your kids, stewardship, everything's a teaching moment, a gospel opportunity. Honestly, that was the best gift I saw. It was the only one that I saw, but it was by far and away the best gift that I saw. The other thing is I got the report. There were all sorts of numbers on the report. Like you guys really prayed and you said, God, what do you want me to give towards this? And so thank you for just praying. That's my only ask of you as pastor. Just pray and be faithful to what God has for you. And so I saw a lot of really random numbers, like 931. I'm like, you clearly prayed about that number. Like, that's cool. You prayed and then you were faithful. Thank you. Because it doesn't matter how much or how little. It's that we're just being faithful to what God has entrusted us with. That's our call. One of the numbers that was really neat also, that there were a lot of 42s. One of the, the numbers that was neat was a $42,000 check. And that was cool. Like, like that, that was really neat. But honestly, it wasn't because it was the big check. It was because 42000 means something to us at Vintage Grace. If you're a guest, you might not know this, but we pray for that number a lot. Why? Why? 42,000 people live in El Dorado Hills. So that's a symbolic number for us. Although someone joked with me in between services, well, you know, it's more than that now. You should have said that. The checks would have been bigger. <laughs> Again, we're, we're jacked up, messed up people. But God is on the move. And so as we gather this morning, I want to encourage you, if, if you didn't participate in Multiply, you still can. Like I said, put that on your check. If you did, thank you. Keep praying with us. 190 is still a number that we're praying that God would take away over these next five or six weeks. And that's actually less than what's come in the last five or six weeks. So praise God. But remember the numbers that matter. It's the one we just sang. It's the one on the domino that represents you and me. That his reckless love pursued us as we were where we are. And we gather now on Sunday to be sent to different ones all across this county, all across this region, because there's 42,000 people that need the love of Jesus. So church, you've been given that today. You are loved. Go in that love. Go in that peace. Go in that boldness. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Everybody say, amen. amen. See you guys next week.